What other <laughs> kinds of machines can I make today? Uh, let's shake this out and do more of the quest book. We've got that complete. We've got this complete. I got a cheesecake. <laughs> Rather unimpressed with cheesecake. We're going to throw that in there. All right, cosmetic crate. Are you glasses? You are glasses. All right, we're throwing you in there. Darn you open blocks for having so many glasses in there. Opening this up. And we've got other things. A former and a separate. The separator is what I really could use. Because that will break down uh, loot into its primary forms. It's like an uncrafter, right? In a way. I guess it needs a separator to make a separator. Fair enough. All right. Uh, so let's see if I can make or get these items. Uh, wait, is that say heavy protection block? Heavy protection block. I th What's the difference between that and a protection block? I thought... Okay, protection and a heavy protection block. Let's look at that sucker. That's made from soul steel, heavy ingots, and heavy blocks. All right, well, first, let's make a few of those. Uh, just to be sure, heavy protection block. Do I have the materials for this? No. Soul steel is made from raw soul steel, which is made from... Oh, no. Crystal catalyst. I don't, I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't think so. So I'm going to make a bunch of those crystal catalysts, and I'll be back shortly. All right, so I used a bunch of those uh, crystal seeds, or the crystal explosion seeds, whatever they are, <laughs> and they actually worked pretty good. Um, I could effectively double the amount that I was making each time, which was pretty darn cool, and I didn't have to go through a lot of uh, complex crafting recipes in order to do so. So in order to make the soul steel, raw soul steel ingots now, it shouldn't be too bad of a problem. Uh, in fact, I'm going to make a bunch of these. Need more soul dust, which is going to be soul sand crushed. Oh, do I have any soul sand? I've got a bit. Uh, heck, I'm just going to use half of it. Actually, I probably don't even need that much. Let's continue on and see how much of this I can make. Um, but I do need to smelt these. Haha. -ha. Which, this is why I'm actually back and you're listening, is so that I can still do this and just kind of shift... Shift Q, all right, Control Q, there we go. And everything goes in, and I can grab it off the other side. Neat, it's already smelted just like that. That's really neat. Okay, no waiting around for this stuff to smelt anymore, just a little trip over to the side. So, recipe for these should be as follows, and I'm going to put the other ones in there so I can make one, two, three, here we go, 12 blocks. I don't know how many I really need. Because I didn't really look at that. Uh, but let's take a look. It said five. Well, I, I now have 12. I'm sure something else is going to need them. In the worst case, I can separate them back out when I'm done. So let's make this. I need two amplifying tubes. And I know that I've got plenty of those from early on when I was a derp and tried jumping to my death from a very high height of amplifying tubes. Um, so <laughs> next I need liquid souls bucket. All right. Souls Whoops, Souls Bucket. I kind of remember now that's Mysterious Dust Block. And it's daytime right now, so I need to do that quickly. Dust, Mysterious Dust Block. Uh, recipe, just a bunch of this. And then I need a bucket. Uh, quickly, bucket. There we go. I've got two buckets, because that's what I'm going to I'm gonna do two of these, just because I have a feeling I'm going to need more. So let's melt these real quick. And yes, I changed these out with... Uh, uh, Oh, that one's framed. This this one's framed. This one's reinforced. Framed slant. Oh, gosh. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> that was a little bit of an oops. Uh, whenever I've been making lava over here, it keeps on burning up a lot of the blocks. So I started replacing them. Oh, I forgot. I need to not jump in this area with uh, reinforced versions, which don't actually burn. I thought that they did for some reason, but I guess they won't. So that's a good thing. Now I now have some liquid souls. I can put them in the system, and then I can continue on. Actually, I'm going to need one of those buckets back for this. Two amplifying tubes. I only need five heavy protection blocks, if I remember properly. It said here five. All right. I need two fully charged light collectors. That's going to be part of the structure. So let's see, light collectors. Um, light collectors. I have one. What is it to make another one? It's a bunch of white brackish stone. Do I even have that? 
Well, I do need Shard of the Born Might. That's not bad. I've got plenty of those. One, two, three, four. And then I can actually r remove that recipe here. Make it. Light Collector. I now have two. That's probably going to be part of a multi-block structure, and these are just going to need to be charged. At least that's what I'm imagining. Next up, we're going to need the separator itself and one heat block. Six heat blocks. Okay. Heat blocks. I have two. Dog on it. Recipe. I have six. Okay. <laughs> we're good to go. Now the separator itself. That I'm putting on the side just in case I need it. Ooh, amplifying tubes. Soul stealing gets in the how much of this do we have? Yeah, I know it's I see you stealing my soul steal out of my inventory. Um recipe, let's make the machine casing. And then we need soul steel ingots, which I need more raw soul steel. Dog on it. I do need another set. So I do need more soul dust. Crap. I thought I could get away without it. Let's do eight of these. I will smash. Uh, and here's the advantage, because I don't have my, uh, my instant suck it up pouch. I have my Batania one. I actually have the time to break it, and the stuff can smash. And I can put it back again. It's really, really nice. Oh, it's so nice. And I just put the crushing block back one more time. So I now have these. I can use them to make, come on, these here. Wow, that gave me a lot for that, for eight of those. All right. Can I make a bunch? Yeah, I'm going to make 16 of these suckers. You can better believe. And let's do even more. There we go. 24. That's much better. Don't even know if I need this, but I'm going to use it anyway. Then I just control Q. And I should be able to just pick it up here. There we go. It's so easy. It's so easy. I should just fly from there to here now. It's just... <laughs> Throw that in there. And what else was it for the separator? I should be able to do this. And I can grab two more because that's what I needed. It stole them from my recipes. Darn thing. I should be able to make this now. So let's take a look at the separator. Can I actually place this thing? Separates items into its components. Consumes 25 energy per operation. Requires a multi-block structure. So I could use that crystal to power multiple machines. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is use my Book of the Well to sneak right click on this thing. Oh. Oh, it's not going to work. Because this is just part of it. All right. Well, either way, let's go up here and see if I can get something set up over on this side. Uh, opening up the book, we can just be in the index, which if you're not sure, just click here. And then we can look up the separator. Separator. And then it had separating. That's interesting. Well, first, let's let's do the separator itself. A multi-block structure that allows you to divide complex constructions into its components. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's try this. Can I set this up to be here? See, I'm wondering if this thing is a little bit... If it could go a little closer that way. But for now, I'm going to set it up right there. Yep. Okay. So I have the materials for it, so let's put down the heat blocks. One, two, three. I put that in the wrong spot. Three. And four. And then I've got ones up here that I need to place down, but I can't because I need something to set them on. So I will do these blocks instead. Two, three. Looks like there's a block there. And now I can put the other two heat blocks on either side. Then I need this block here at the front. The two light collectors go on top, as well as the liquid souls bucket goes down there. I've got this needing to go on the front. Or is it just placed there? I guess it's just placed there. Okay. So I do need to remove this block in order to put the liquid souls bucket down below. But it looks like there's an opening. Is there supposed to be an opening? I don't remember there being an opening. I gotta wait for this thing to spin around, but other, while I'm waiting for that, let's get this. I didn't grab the tubes. Shoot. And it looks like there's an opening here. This stuff's gonna spill out everywhere. I don't like this. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna need the amplification tubes, so I might as well grab those. 
uh, tube. Grab one, two of those. And I can put those down. In the meantime, I might actually... Do I have some extra blocks on me? No, I don't. Let's get rid of these soul steel ingots. Um, let's grab... What is it? Oh, sky blocks. No, we're not going to grab those. Uh, we're going to do some arcane stone for the moment, just in case I need to block openings so this doesn't spill out everywhere. Cause it makes me think it's going to spill out everywhere, but I don't know. Uh, so let's do these amplification tubes here, here. This heavy block needs to go there. I can just place that liquid down there after the fact, now that I realize it here and here and i need i need a light source okay i got you i got you you need me to not do that okay liquid souls it shouldn't it's yeah see it's pouring out <laughs> all right structure complete i am going to put a light source here though so that we don't get mob spawns up on the top so how does this thing work Requires some energy per operation, which isn't a problem. I've got energy right there, and it goes out up to, what, eight blocks? I think so. It, sh it should reach it. If not, I can always hover it between the two. Uh, so let's back up and go to separating. Let's see what it says. Multiple allows you to divide. Uh, that's the same exact thing. Separator, separating. I think that these are actually going to the same spot. Okay, well, let's find something to separate. A bucket, perhaps. All right, I put the bucket there. Will it actually work? I don't know what it's doing. Uh, bucket. I don't even know if a bucket works. Use. Is there anything for the separator? There isn't. So I chose something to separate that isn't separatable. Um, all right. So separator. Use. In here. Magma blocks into blaze powder and slime ball. That's a perfect example. Let's go try those because that's that's the number one thing that I've been wanting that for is that. Uh, so let's see. Uh, magma blocks. We're going to take a half a stack of these. I'm just going to run over here. And I'm going to try right clicking one in there. Oh, that that did the whole that did a half stack. That's that's a lot of those. I don't know what happens if it does anything. 7720. So this stuff just come out the side. This liquid makes me float up. It's really weird. Okay, so do do the thing. <laughs> Component will exit the machine. Wait, I multiply divide it into components. The components will exit the machine in the various outputs. Requires some energy per operation. Okay, that's great, but it doesn't seem to be doing too much. I've got my uh, magnet going on here. Once again, I'm just like barely learning this stuff. So let's try just one then, because this doesn't seem to be moving anything. And then I can move this a bit closer, just in case, because I don't remember if this thing had an eight block radius. I don't think it does. Five block radius. <laughs> that would be the problem. Um, so I could put it, I could put it here. That's a little bit awkward. Let's try putting it here. That's that's a little bit awkward too. How about there? It's a little bit lower, somewhat between the two machines. I would think it would work. Seven seven two zero. I still don't know if that's close enough. That's that's kind of not close enough. Let's put it here then, right between the two. And that should function. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward placement, but hopefully it'll work. Come on, separate. Do the stuff. Can, can you, please? Throwing it on, it doesn't do anything. It does seem to have something to place up there. And it can separate up to three different ways. So the use for this... In a, in a separator, if I have it properly attached and working, it would then spit out slime balls and blaze powder out the sides. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe I mess around with this a little bit more. Maybe I need to remove. Oh, that's right. The, the solar panels. That's the problem. It's not daytime. 
I'm the only one on it. The sun is just coming up now. I don't think I could sleep. That was the problem this whole time. <laughs> is that it needs to have uh, fully charged light collectors for this to actually work. Okay. Here, I'm thinking I'm going to let go and start reading up about this stuff. It makes sense. It makes sense. So if you've already got this thing just sitting around not being used, then therefore you can use it to, you know, just pop over, dump something in there, and it will separate it out. Okay. And I should be able to have, like, hoppers or something like that, or, or a hopper hawk nearby that could potentially grab some of this stuff. Hmm. Maybe it's worth making a hopper hawk just for this. But I just want to see the this thing work. Come on. Why you no charge? Place. This one's charged. Why you no charge? Well, I guess I'll be back once this thing's charged up. Okay, so here's the downside of this. It's nearly midday, and this other one still hasn't even charged yet. But, on the plus side, I should still be able to uh, do something about this. Um, kind of thinking I'm going to put this here. We're going to take this, put it up here, take this, and put it up here, take this, and put it inside. <laughs> and then we just trade these out, and then I don't need to worry about accidentally clicking on that. And I can put the hopper hawk right there, which should cover a very large area, including way over here, in fact. Um, that might be a little close. It's pretty close. Not quite. I mean, it goes up to about here. So if it go if it overshoots, I guess I need to check this other chest. But the materials should actually be grabbed before they get blown off this platform. Yeah, even going over here. That should be fine. So that works out pretty good. I just need to wait for that to finish. Come on, do your thing. Get you Can I insert sunshine into this thing, plus? <laughs> I wonder if you can move light collectors if they retain, like with a piston, if they move, if they retain their light, because then you can have like a series or a chain of these things hooked up. That could be interesting. Hey, it's changed. I don't know if it's going to work. So it appears that they're there. It's not using any power just yet, but they both look like they are fully charged. Boy, that took after midday, the RN, the gods of RNG are not with me today. Um, so, is it going to do the thing? Are you going to do the thing? Oh, I heard something. Oh, it was just me stepping on this thing. Okay, well, I hope that this stuff works. Let's just try one piece. Maybe that's all. Please, I, I place it in. Does it work? Does it blend? Let's get that out of the way just to make sure. And I'll just do one one block again. Can I can I please have the stuff and the goods? Oh, <gasps> it worked! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, it didn't use them up. Oh, that's wonderful. I will put the whole rest of that in there because I could really use more blaze powder instead of using up my blaze rods. <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm I'm gonna walk over here. And see if these... Yes, they're getting picked up by the Hopper Hawk. Oh, <laughs> my magnet is a little too good in some places. It's still grabbing over to me. But they are going over there and going into the chest. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, well, we're just going to jump over here, put these things in here for now. I now have a bunch of those. Oh, that's that's great. I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, and I do have a new soul over here. But I don't think I have anything new to un unenchant just yet. Not just yet. I've got this, this old bow here. If I have a book, if I can make a book, I should be able to make a book. Regular one? Yeah. There we go. And then I can make one of these. There we go. Uh, I should actually be able to... This was the old bow that I used to use. There we go. And still not enough. Maybe one more time and I'll be able to level that up. <laughs> oh, gosh. I need, I need like, the extra XP version in here. I'm going to need a place to store the um, all these XP books. Or all these uh, enchanted books at this rate. It's a really good way of getting XP, though. 
Um, so let's toss in the arcane stone for now. Uh, grab my book. Take a look at this. And there we go. Quest book. That should complete the separator. Yes. And the task for that. Not, did I just get food? I got brownies. Actually, those are amazing brownies. Holy cow. But they're just going to go in the system. We got food crate. <laughs> yeah, actually, a food crate. Foods are all pretty much just null and void at this point. <laughs> all right. What else did I have here? I have a nourisher. Oh, that's curious. A block setter, a block boxer, um, a former, and a mystical ore puller still to go. How much power did that use when I ended up with this thing going? Oh, it's not using that much, actually. And I'm getting a lot of material. Holy crap. That's... Wow. Okay, separator. Um, you are my buddy. Uh, use for you. What can you separate? There are 14 pages. That gets me slime and blaze powder. That's the same thing. Just a one-to-one. -one. <laughs> I can separate a dispenser. That's funny. Separate pumpkin pie into its bits. Interesting brewing stand. You can reverse engineer that. An extra enchanting table. If I find it, I can get diamonds out of it. Sea lanterns. That that might be a thing. Because I think I can make sea lanterns, but I have difficulty in making these. Uh, and then I can get my stuff back from the compass. An ender chest. I don't think I'd want to ever uncraft an ender chest. And they'll say I had like 20 of them. Um, clock, redstone, gold. Okay. Uncraft TNT to get five and four. Yeah, they're exact recipes at least, so it's not like I'm, you know, totally getting a, a, a super discount or something, but that's that's really good. Wow, that's a lot of materials. That one specifically, that's that's great because I think, what can I use the blaze powder for? No, stop. Stop it. Use the blaze powder for making just about any of these items. Those magma blocks were not that useful. Obviously the Eye of Ender, but Fire Chakrams, eh, not as good as the Thorn Chakrams in my mind. Uh, they'll set enemies on fire, but the Thorn ones, they, they, they do poison. And I like the damage value. Of course that could have changed. I'm thinking way too far ahead. I can make the some different rods, firewood, fire resistance, cloak of Loki. Ooh, lots of interesting stuff I could make here. The blaze lanterns. They actually the the texture in this is pretty neat. I like it. And then of course empty summoner from Solus. There, ender steel bars from Solus. Hmm, interesting stuff. And then of course there's the melter, which can be used to make stuff. And then some draconium stuff. Dislocator peasant stool. Yeah, more draconic evolution. Yep, I have a lot of options for that now. But I think at this point, at this juncture. I'm going to do again what I have before and take a break. Um, it uh, Usually my breaks are like anywhere from hours to days, so keep that in mind. You guys may have come back with uh, the progress of where you would like me to go. Um, I can continue on with the mystical machines. But once again, uh, if if it hasn't already been determined, Thongcraft, Nature's Aura, Ender.io, or Astral Sorcery, which one do you think uh, I should go after next, assuming that I don't end up running into a roadblock straight away? So. Hope you guys have been enjoying. If so be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, spread the mischief to others. And uh, be sure to stop by most nights around 10 p.m. UK time on Twitch and uh, say hi. You know, we're usually playing some some other mod packs as well as perhaps some other games and stuff like that. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.